Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Galvin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational videos to help nursing students and nursing professionals like you with their studies. If that is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Please make sure to subscribe now. Hit the notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help know that you like to see more contents like this. Without further ado, you guys, let's jump into the video. Hi everybody! Kumusta kayo? Isang panibagong nursing discussion nga ang alay ko sa inyo for today. And like you see on the title, today is all about the nervous system. Yes, another ending natin sa ating anatomy and physiology. Let this be your nursing study guide. Now, um, it's been a while since the last time I actually uploaded um, a video regarding anafi, and I feel like this is the perfect time to do that. So, um, this is part one of the nervous system. I kind of like try. I don't think it's really... Um, well, I can actually do like one-time video uh, discussing about the nervous system, but, but I feel like in order for you to have a mastery, I want to split it up to parts. So today is the part one, and um, you're going to expect that on the upcoming uploads uh, that I will have on my channel, I'm going to be uploading or I'm going to be having... Uh, continuing to upload regarding the nervous system. Yes. Ngayon, kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung other anatomy and physiology videos I created under my channel, I'll be putting the actual playlist link on the description box or whenever the icon button pops out. Check the one out because I'll be also putting all the other playlists I have on my channel regarding nursing education. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe ka na magpahuli because we're actually moving towards 20,000, you guys. Thank you so much for all the love and support. You, are, you guys are so amazing. Thank you po sa patuloy niyong pagsuporta. Um, I also want to grab this opportunity to congratulate the uh, test passers. The nursing for the nursing uh, board exam in the Philippines for this year. Maraming maraming salamat po sa patuloy nyo pagsuporta at panunood nyo sa mga videos ko. Maraming asa nyo yung bumabalik at nagpapasalamat. Nakakataba naman ng puso. Pero um, deserve nyo yan. Celebration and welcome to the nursing um, nursing life? Nursing life talaga. Oh, hindi ko na patatagalin pa. Medyo mahaba itong discussion na to. Let me share to you the objectives for today's um, lecture. So, I'm going to be providing to you functions of the nervous system. I will go in, I am going to discuss anatomy of the nervous system. The anatomy of the nervous system is subdivided into three: organizational of the nerve uh, organization of the nervous system, structural classification, and we have the functional classification. Like I said, this is just a part one. So, um uh, you can expect on the following uploads, we're going to have um, a video presentation and lecture regarding your nervous system. So I want you to really thoroughly indulge with me as we study this um, this system in our body, which is quite fascinating to be to be honest with you guys. So magsimula na tayo. Let's discuss first the functions of the nervous system. To carry out its normal role, the nervous system has three overlapping functions. Listen to this. All right, we have monitoring changes. Now, let me discuss to you. Much like a sentry, it uses its millions of sensory receptors to monitor changes occurring both side, uh, both inside and outside of the body. These changes are called stimuli. And the gathered information is called sensory input. Next, you have interpretation of sensory output. It processes and interprets the sensory input and decides what should be done at each moment. A process called integration, hence it's called interpretation of the sensory input. We also have effects and responses. Those are the roles, overlapping roles of our nervous system, huh? And now, when you talk about effects and responses, it then affects a response by activating muscles or glands. 
yung glands na tinatawag nating effectors via mo- motor outputs. We have mental activity. The brain is the center of mental activity including consciousness, thinking, and memory. We have homeostasis. Balance, right? This function depends on the ability of the nervous system to detect, interpret, and respond to changes in the internal and external condition. It can also stimulate or inhibit the activities of the other systems to help maintain a constant internal environment. These are the roles and uh, the roles of your nervous system. All right. Now we're gonna ha- discuss anatomy of the nervous system. Now, the nervous system does not work alone to regulate and maintain body homeostasis. The endocrine system is a second important regulating system. Remember that. When it comes to body regulation, our system regulation, we have two systems in the body that do that. We have your nervous system and alongside with it is the endocrine system. I believe I had um, anatomy and physiology lecture video about the endocrine system. If you haven't watched it, watch it. Okay. Now, on the following slides, we're going to talk about, in relation to anatomy of the nervous system, we're going to talk about three things. Organization of the nervous system, structural classification, and functional classification. All right. Nakakasunod pa ba? Nakakasunod pa? Ito na talaga. Now, when we talk about the organizational uh, organization of the nervous system, here it is. We only have one nervous system, but because of its complexity, it is difficult to consider all of its parts at the same time. So, to simplify its study, we divide it in terms of its structures. Kaya meron tayong structural classification or in terms of its activities. Na naman tinatawag natin or we labeled it as functional classification. Malinaw ba yon? Malinaw. So, isa-isahin natin tong structural and functional classification ng ating nervous system. Mag-proceed na tayo. Organization of the nervous system in terms of structural classification. The structural classification, which includes all of the nervous system organs, has two subdivisions, the central nervous system and what? The peripheral nervous system. We have CNS and PNS. When you talk about structures, there's only two structures that our nervous system is consist of or are made of. We have your central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. We're gonna dive into that on the next slide. Eto na tayo. So ito po yung clear picture of your central and peripheral nervous system combined. Wag tayo malilito ha, kasi this is all your sen- your nervous system. Dinivide lang natin sila in terms of what structure. All right. So, the central nervous system, ano siya? The CNS consists of the brain and the spinal cord which occupy the dorsal body cavity and act as the integrating and command centers of the nervous system. When you talk about the command center of the nervous system, you are talking about the brain and the spinal cord. The brain, palita ko nga to ng pen. The brain this part, the brain, and what? The spinal cord. Which is under your central, central nervous system. Okay? When you talk about your peripheral nervous system, your PNS. The PNS, the part of the nervous system outside the CNS, consists mainly of the nerves that extend from the brain and the spinal cord. When you talk about, uh, narinig mo yung nerves that extends outside, uh, outside the brain and the spinal cord, ito po yung mga nerves. Tama. You are talking about the peripheral nervous system. Central nervous system and peripheral nervous system is all part of your structural classification of your nervous system. Malinaw ba yon? Malinaw. Mag-proceed na tayo. Organization of the nervous system in terms of functional classification. The functional classification scheme is concerned only with 
PNS structures. Sa PNS natin, yung peripheral nervous system natin, naalala mo, di ba, ano yon Nerves that extends outside the brain and the spinal cord. Dito siya under. Dito, tatalakay natin yung mga nerves na yon sa mga susunod na slides. Eto na. So, we have, um, when you talk about the functional functional classification of your nervous system, we have, it's divided into uh, divisions. All right? So we have your sensory division. These are the nerves that extends outside of the spinal cord and the brain. So when you talk about the sensory division, the sensory or afferent division consists of nerves composed of nerve fibers that convey impulses through the central nervous system from sensory receptors located in various parts of the body. Sensory, afferent division. When you talk about somatic sensory fibers or fibers, Wag malilito ha, nasa functional classification na tayo ng ating nervous system. ba? Diba? Sinabi natin, organizational structure. We have your, hinati natin sila sa dalawa. Meron tayong, ano yon? Functional and structural. Sa structural, ano yon? PNS, CNS. Sa functional, ito na siya. Yung mga subdivisions na mga nerve endings na nakon- nakakonekta saan? Sa spinal cord and sa brain. Now, somatic sensory fibers. Sensory fibers delivering impulses from the skin, skeletal muscles, and joints are called somatic sensory fibers. Saan yon Ano yung mga sensory fibers na nakakonekta saan? Key terms sa skin, skeletal muscles, and joints. Those are called your somatic sensory fibers. We have your visceral sensory fibers. Ano naman to? Those that transmit impulses from the visceral organs are called visceral sensory fibers. Next, you have your motor division. The motor or efferent. Yung kanina, sensory fibers, ang tawag natin sa kanya, afferent. Pag sinabi mo namang motor division, that is your efferent division. E, efferent division, carries impulses from the CNS to effector organs, the muscles and the glands. And motor division has two subdivisions, the somatic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system. Now, i-discuss natin sila. Huwag ka mag-alala. Somatic nervous system, madali lang yan. The somatic nervous system allows us to continuously or voluntarily control our skeletal muscles. Madali mo siyang matatandaan. Voluntary action ng katawan. Voluntary action ng katawan na may kinalaman sa skeletal muscles. You talk about your somatic nervous system. When you talk about autonomic nervous system, the autonomic nervous system regulates events that are automatic or what we call involuntary. This subdivision, commonly called involuntary nervous system, has two parts, the sympathetic and parasympathetic, which typically brings out or bring out opposite effect. Sympathetic effect, everything goes up except for GI and GU. Parasympathetic effect, on the other hand, everything goes down except for GI and GU. Autonomic, titingnan mo dyan, mga, mga smooth muscle, cardiac muscles, kasi mga automatic sila. Diba? Hindi mo naman pwedeng kontrolin yung pagtibok ng puso mo. Hindi mo rin naman kayang kontrolin yung paristaltic movement ng iyong uh, large and small intestine. Tama? Hindi mo yung kayang kontrolin. Ang kaya mo kontrolin is mostly skeletal muscle which is run by your somatic nervous system. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you learned something. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. Let me know if you have other nursing topics that you want us to do. Comment it down below. Abangan nyo nga po yung next upload natin regarding the nervous system. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. We are just actually starting out. And this is really, really a fascinating concept. And I want you to review and refresh your knowledge. Learn something every time you come here on my channel. Maraming maraming salamat. Salamat po. Tulungan nyo na nga ako. Ipamalitan nyo na sa radyong sira ang pinakabago, pinaka-fresh at ang pinakalibreng Nursing Review Center sa balat ng YouTube. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gave, except for my TikTok account which is Neil Gave Official. I do have a Facebook page. It's Neil Gave. The link is also in the description box. I do have a podcast channel. It's 3am Conversation with Neil Gave. I'll see you again next week and Happy New Year to everyone. God bless you all.